Hi, I'm Maya Van Rossum, the Delaware Riverkeeper. The Delaware Riverkeeper Network is presenting a series of interviews taking a critical look at the shale gas industry and its impacts on our environment, our communities, our economy, and our future. I'm joined today by energy analyst Arthur Berman to talk about the real availability of shale gas in this country and some of the economic implications of pursuing it. I'd like to thank the Chestnut Hill Inn on the Delaware River in Milford, New Jersey for hosting us today. To um, really have a secure energy future, I'm not talking about necessarily energy independence, but a secure energy future, what should we as a country, as a people, as politicians be doing today to have that brighter future? We need to change our behavior. There are no silver bullet solutions to energy independence or um, even uh, longer term energy security wherever we get our energy from. I could go into lots of uh, painful detail and, and you know, gas is only one part of, of the story. Oil is, is an equal if not greater part of the story. But um, you know, to stay on focus with your question, all of those, there, there are no solutions. Um, the, the solutions, if they're out there, are very, very long-term, so there are no short-term solutions. And so there are really only two things that we can do today. And one is efficiency. We can learn to use the fuels that we have more efficiently, and by the way, we, we are. Um, our automobile uh, efficiency standards have uh, increased uh, impressively over the past several years. But the more important thing is our own personal behavior. How do we use energy? Um, how, many, how many people drive themselves to work every day alone in their car? Uh, how many people leave lights on in their house? Uh, how many people have the, the appropriate forms of insulation that could save you know, 40 percent uh, of electrical usage. I mean, I'm not talking about everybody needs to put solar panels on their house. I'm talking about simple things. And, and, and the problem that, that, that arises from hearing every day that we have so much energy and we're going to be energy independent is that it causes people to say, well, I don't really have to, you know, I'm good. I, I can go on living the way that, that I always have. And I don't believe that that's true. I, I, I think that, you know, we need a wake-up call uh, just because, even if we did have it, uh, what, what, is, what, what is the idea that, it, let's say we have a hundred years of gas, why should we use it all up as fast as we can? You know, is, is, that a, is that really a, a smart approach to, uh, to business, much less uh, the environment? I, I, don't, I don't get it, but you know, I, I can't, I'm, I'm not in favor of regulating. If that's what they want to do, that's what they're going to do. But, but really and truly, the, 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 the whole solution or the, or, or the part of the solution that, that, that we can work with is on a very personal level. We've got to change our behavior.